if you need that salvation, if you need that forgiveness, you can receive it tonight. Shout hallelujah. The anointing breaks the yoke. Hear Dr. Paul N. Vincent preach the anointed word of God that changes lives and brings salvation, healing, and deliverance. Invite him to minister in your church, conference, or crusade. Also read his life-changing books in the Persistent Works series. For more information about inviting Dr. Vincent to minister or to order his books, visit vincentpaulministriesinternational.com. Do you need inspiration and motivation to reach your dreams in life? Are you trying to overcome discouragement? Do you desire a deeper spiritual walk with God? Do you question your destiny? Then the Persistence Works book series by the prolific author and international speaker, Dr. Vincent N. Paul, is written for you and is now available in paperback, audiobook, and ebook. Order today by calling 866-909-2665 or go online, persistenceworks.com. Hello, friends. God bless you and welcome to this special moment. I am Bishop Major Paul Vincent, and you are watching Persistence Works Moment. I'm so glad that you have joined us today. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I want to bring you a special uh, presentation, one of the ministrations I had not long ago. I want to bless you with this ministration. So I want you to just sit back and watch and receive the message the Lord gave me in during this ministration. And I believe you'll be blessed. See you soon. If you want to be a proof producer, the first thing is that you need to position yourself to have an encounter with God. Without an encounter with God, you cannot produce any result. Without an encounter with God, you cannot change any life. Your life itself cannot produce any proof. For you to produce proof or to be a living proof and to go out there to produce a supernatural result, you need to have an encounter with God. Now, when we talk of encounter with God, how did he have this encounter? I looked at his life very closely, and there was something that he did that was responsible for the encounter he had. He lived a life of prayer. Not just prayer, but he lived a life of intensive prayer. James chapter 5 verse 7. The Bible says that Elias, which is another rendition for Elijah, he was a man of like passion and he prayed that there will be no rain for three and a half years. He was a man of like passion like you and I and yet he prayed intensively he prayed passionately. He prayed effectively. He did not spend two minutes in prayer. He spent quality time in prayer and he was looking to God because he knew that without the encounter with God, he cannot change the nation. So when he went before the king, he stood before the king and he said to him, I am still standing before the Lord God of hosts. Because I have been in the prayer closet. Even though I am out of the prayer closet, I am still carrying the presence of God. There is a kind of time you spend in prayer. The dwelling presence of God comes upon you. When you go anywhere you go, that presence follows you. It doesn't come by two minutes of prayer. It doesn't come by five minutes of prayers. You've got to learn how to spend intense time in prayer. If we want to be proof producers, and if we want our lives to become living proof of what God can do, it's a call to prayer. And it's not just the prayer meeting we come to. The corporate prayer is great. But when you spend time alone with God, and you are able to hold on to God and say to him, Father, I'm not leaving your presence until your presence touches me. Until your fire touches me. Until your glory transforms.
transforms me. And you spend one hour, two hours, three hours, not just casual prayers. Not the prayer you are praying and looking at your watch. Not the prayer you are praying and then the phone rings. You pick it up and say, and then you put it back. You pick and choose who you respond to if you are in prayer. No. The kind of prayer where you turn off the social media. You turn off the phone. You turn off everything that will distract you. And you go to God and you spend time in God many times with fasting. And waiting upon God and said, Father, I want you to use me. I want to be a proof producer in my generation, in my nation, in my family. Start with me. Make me a living proof. And when you spend that time, when you have such encounter with God, you can come before the king and say to the king, the God whom I stand, before whom I stand. You are not just going to acknowledge the human presence. The presence of the most high will be more real than the presence of whoever you are standing before. If you're standing before the governor or before the president or before a CEO or before whoever it may be, is irrelevant. The presence of the Most High is so real, more real than the presence of whoever you stand with before. And you can declare the word of the Lord to them because you are standing in the presence of the Most High. And that can only happen when you spend time in the place of prayer. And I have also discovered that in that place of prayer, you can change the course of events. Did you hear me? In the place of prayer, you can turn back the hand of the clock. You can change circumstances. You can change government policies. You can change events in your family, in your life. When you know the power of prayer, nothing shall be impossible. Did you hear me? If you believe in the power of prayer, no government policy, no family cause, nothing in the natural can move you. If they tell you it's not possible, say, okay, I hear you. Go into your prayer closet and have an encounter with God and said, Father, I come to you because I know you have all power. And you say, I give unto you power. I've given you authority to tread upon seven of scorpions and over every power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means sort you. And you take authority and make a decree. And God will establish it. But you've got to go to the place of prayer and have an encounter with God. So I want to announce to us this evening that if you want to have a life-changing, life-transforming testimony, if you want God to use you as a proof producer, you must have an encounter with God. And that encounter starts with the place or in the place of prayer. Hello friends, welcome back. I believe you've been blessed by that ministration and whichever way the Lord had ministered or touched you during that um, those ministrations you received, I believe that something good is already happening to you. I want to pray with you right now before we end this administration. Father, I pray for your people right now. Everyone watching me who have received the ministration, I pray that you bless them. Let the word they have received fall upon the good ground of their heart and let there be supernatural harvest in their lives. I take authority over every power of the enemy. Satan, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I banish you from their lives and I declare the blessings of God, that victory, that favor will begin to manifest in their lives. And Lord, if there is anyone watching who has not known you as Lord and Savior, Father, at this time, I pray for them now that, oh God, as they come to the point of making a decision for you, Father, I pray that they will, as they receive the gift of salvation, the gift of forgiveness, I pray that you forgive them. And if you're watching me right now and you want to receive the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want you to say this simple prayer um, after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins and I ask that you forgive me. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Write my name in the book of life and cancel my name from the book of death. I receive your gift of salvation. 
your gift of forgiveness. And I thank you for your pardon. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for everyone who have said this simple salvation prayer. Lord, I pray your blessing upon them. Give them the grace and the strength they need to walk with you to serve you all the days of their lives. Holy Spirit of God, fill them afresh. Anoint them afresh at this moment that they will be victorious in their walk with you. Bring them, O oh God, to the foot of the cross and take, make them take up their cross and walk with you and serve you for the rest of their lives. I bless everyone watching right now. And I pray that everyone that is sick in their body, I command healing in their body right now. I command you to be healed. If you have sickness and disease and ailment of any kind, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed in the name of Jesus. I release the healing miracle of God, the healing power of God. I command you to be healed and I release the blessings of God. I release the desires of your heart. Whatever it is to desire, I bring it to pass right now. I bring it into physical manifestation. Father, glorify your name in their lives and I thank you because you have done it. We give you glory. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Friends, I believe that God has touched you. I believe you've been blessed already. So I want to encourage you to visit our website www persistentworks.com or www.vincentpaulorg.com and I have some more information coming to you after right now so don't go away and I will be seeing you next Sunday so until I come your way again once again I'm your host Bishop Major Paul Vincent and you have been watching Persistent Works Moment God bless you <music>